Hey guys, <coughs> hi guys, welcome to Mars Future Subnova. In this tutorial, we are going to find the value of x. Okay, this is a maths Olympiad problem we are expected to solve. We have 5 power x plus 2 is equal to 3 power x plus 3. The first thing we have to do when we have problems like 5 power x plus 2 is equal to 3 power x plus 3. You observe the base. These are the base, these are the base, and this numbers at the top or expression at the top is called the power or we say the exponents. Okay? Observe one thing. The bases cannot be expressed to be the same. That is, we cannot express 5 and 3 to be the same. So all we have to use to solve this is that we are going to take the logarithm the natural log reading of both sides so if i take log 5 x plus 2 it will be the same as log 3 power x plus 3 remember in laws of log reading that whenever we have log log b to the power of m it is the same thing as m log b that is, we are free to multiply the power to the log reading. So we are going to apply it to this particular term. So we have it as x plus 2. In a bracket, we have it as log 5 is the same thing as x plus 3. The power multiplying the log, log 3. Okay? Then the next thing we have to do, since our goal is to find the value of x, this particular x here, it is in both sides. So the next thing we have to do is to open up the bracket. And to open the bracket, we use log 5 to multiply every term in the bracket. So we have it as when log 5 multiply x, you have it as x log 5. And when log 5 multiplies uh, 2, you have it as 2 log five then it's equals to same thing is applied to this term we use log three to multiply everything here we have it as x log three plus three log three okay then the next thing we do is to look at the term without the value of x that's this term and you recall the same law of log reading that since we can multiply the power when we have this term since we more when we have m log log b it is the same thing as log b m serving as the power this term now we are going to apply it in this point so we have it as x log 5 plus uh log log 5 all squared is equal to x log 3 plus uh log three log three cubed okay then we are get to the solution that means x log five plus five squared is twenty five you have it as log twenty five is equal to x log three plus log three cubed is twenty seven log 27 then the next thing we do is to collect like terms bringing the one that has x together this has x and this has x like collection of like terms so we have it as x log 5 minus x log 3 because this log 3 is crossing the equality sign and it's equals to log 27 minus this particular log 25 crosses the quality sign you have it as log 25 okay at this point we have to factor out the common term that's the common term here is x and x if you factor out the common term x you'll be left with log 5 minus log 3 because when you multiply x to everything, it, it, it gets x. And this is equal to, we have it as log 25 minus log, log 27 minus log 25. 
okay and this will now give you that uh we have to divide through by log five minus log three okay you divide through by log five minus log three so when you divide through by this you are seeing that x is equal to what you'll be left with log 27 minus log 25 then divided by log 5 minus log 3 remember in log reading whenever you are subtracting in the same base all you have to do is simple you have to what uh, uh, you have to divide the numbers that whenever you have for instance whenever you have log a minus log b the bases are the same so this is the same thing as log a over b you divide the numbers so let's apply it here we have it as x is equal to log 27 divided by log log divided by 25 then divided by log 5 divided by 3 okay so and since we have this you can now see that this is the value for x okay this is the value for x or you can use change of base showing that x is the same thing as log keeping the base the same you have it as 5 over 3 of 27 over 25 and this is the required solution for this logarithm okay if you want you can put put a key in the solution in the calculator to see the decimal value if you found the video interesting don't forget to like comment and share and drop any math olympia problem you wish us to solve in our next video goodbye